the Lone Fox. Today I have a new video. This is actually not a DIY video. This is going to be a styling video. And I've seen a couple people on YouTube do these before and I always got inspired by them. So I thought I would do it myself. And this is going to be three ways to style your bed space. I guess you can call it because it's not really just the bed. It's also the wall behind the bed, the nightstand area, all that sort of fun stuff. So if you guys do like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me style three other areas, like maybe like how to style a couch, how to style a desk, like something like that, a bathroom. I don't know what it could be, but leave a comment. Give me some ideas below. If you're not already following my personal Instagram account, make sure to do so. And it's I'm Drew Scott. I'll put it on the screen. And, and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. It's 100% free. You can click the subscribe button below. And yeah, let's just get into this video. For this first design, I really wanted to create a room that had a lot of color in it and mainly jewel tone colors because I've really been into them lately, especially with Target's new Opal House range. I've really just been into them. So I started off with this anthropology quilt. I put it on my bed, tucked it in around the sides and added this Opal House side table from Target that I'm so obsessed with. It's actually a stool for your feet, but I used it as a side table and put my little fig plant on it that is currently dying, trying to fix it. Do not hate me. These little palm pillows here are from Society6 and they're just like basic pillow shams that I put on there and then if you do not recognize this DIY, I actually created it in a video a while back. It's a DIY macrame wall hanging for my macrame video and then I also have this little macrame planter that I'm hanging on the wall as well just from the ceiling little light which probably isn't safe but that's okay. I picked up a few pillows as well in jewel tones. I picked up a velvet blue one and then a velvet turquoise one and added a little brass tray on my bed and then added a couple little accents in the tray. And then I also wanted to add sort of that dreamy effect to this room because I thought that the jewel tones were nice. So I added a couple Polaroids as well as this little moon wall hanging and this handmade dream catcher I made a while back. And the wall hanging is from Urban Outfitters and your oasis is complete. This next room here was one that I really wanted to create with more of a masculine vibe. And of course, if you were a girl and you like this room, everything in life is unisex, so do not worry about that. But I started off this room with an Ikea little side table or this bedding space. And then I also added some very neutral bedding in grays and whites and just very neutral tones and also hung a pretty large Society6 print on the wall. And this bedding is so amazing. It says, I just want to drink coffee, create stuff and sleep. And I finished it off with a couple little side table accents and then also a couple little decorative pillow accents. If you live in California, you gotta have a Polaroid camera. So I hung that up as well as a framed art print and that was my finished room. This last design here was one I actually created and then is currently in my room right now. I was obsessed with it and I'm keeping it. So I started off with the same exact base setup as the last design and I put a basket on the side table and I also hung this DIY macrame wall hanging, which I will link below. I created it on my channel as well, but I really wanted to showcase a lot of like memorabilia and just lots of little inspo photos. So I pulled out a lot from the magazines and just clipped them on my new little wall hanging. It's also a super easy way to add wall art on a budget. Next, moving into bedding. Again, I'm keeping it very neutral because we have a lot of color on the walls and on the side table. And I wanted to add this very graphic, high typographic pillow and a little throw blanket, a couple books, and my macrame planter with my plant in it. And that finishes off this stylistic space. So please don't hate me, but I totally forgot to film the end clips of this video and it's midnight. But if you did love this video, don't forget to check out others from my channel on the screen. You could also find one from my fashion channel on the bottom right and you could subscribe below. Thank you guys so much for watching.